What is going on family, friends, and YouTube viewing audience? Today I'm going to be talking on the subject about dating. So you guys kind of got an idea where this all can go. I've been getting a lot of questions about this because people found out that I've been married for 17 years and they want to know how did me and my wife do it. So stay tuned because I'm going to be giving out a lot of good information. And as you guys know, a lot of times I like to have a little fun as a little attention getter. So here go some clips for you. What's the problem, Pam? I have tried to be nice to this girl, but you know by now she should have come over here to Brooklyn to meet me. You will not believe it. She sent me a text message. A text message. Hi. Well, uh, my parents are here too. Maya, hurry up. Your mama done found a table she wanted. How do you know this person? Dad, this is Doug, a guy that I'm dating. Oh. You two know each other? No. All right, so, yeah, I can tell that this is already a fun class, because look how many people are here. I mean, not to say nobody's, you know, people are always here, but I mean, way in the back now. So I guess y'all must have told some of y'all friends, them, and y'all family members that this is going to be something we're going to be about. So I'll take it that almost all y'all in here are single. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get this going, okay? So, we know that it's going to be about dating and all that. So, first things first. The question that came up was, and I hate to say it, it, it it's not that it's a shame, but it's just kind of sad that the question was, what should I do on my first date? Now, I think that because so many like dating services that are out there, these things kind of, I think they can kind of mess a little thing up. I think they can mess the way your thinking process works up. And what I mean by that is, you know, there is, there was a time where meeting somebody, you met them out and about. You know, there was no profile page to where you had to see this person in their most prettiest looking, most handsome looking, if you want to say it, with the best clothes on, they got their makeup on, you know, they got his hair cut perfectly and all that stuff. Or the time that I was dating, everybody was already who they were. So most likely it was going to be like in a school or in a social area, like a mall or uh, definitely church, um, hangout centers, boys club, girls club, after school programs, things like that. Now, for somebody to ask, what should you do on the first date? It almost kind of make me think that for one, not to say that you're not, but it's almost like, well, you might not be ready for it. If you got to ask, what do I do? And I'm thinking that you may not be ready to start dating yet. But at the same time, I could be wrong. But here, here it is. On your first date, it should be nothing but just talking. You know what I mean? Just talking. Like I'm doing to you guys right now, it should be nothing but talking. And I think what happens is that a lot of people put themselves in the mind frame that I'm getting ready to go out on this date. So that means I got to get myself prepared to like start liking this person, you know, so these feelings and stuff kind of get put in there. But what I actually recommend, if you got into the part to where you actually want to go out with this person, and it's going to sound crazy, I think, depends on who it is, he should either go over to your house with your parents, and I'm talking about a teenagers, I don't care if you're grown too. I mean, you know, I'm a grown man or I'm a grown woman. I'm in my 30s, whatever like that. I'm not, I don't need to be taking nobody over my mom or my dad, mom and dad house, my parents' house, whatever like that. If not, then what about going over like to her friend's house or vice versa? She can come over to your mother and dad house, depending on where your age. If you still live with your parents, you know, 17, 18, 19, or you college age, you still live with your parents. Yeah, bring them over there. And if you got a bunch of friends... Yeah, bring her around, you and your friends, to go on the first date, not just you and her alone. And I'm not saying that in no church where they say, well, you want to have people around so you can avoid temptations. I mean, people are going to do what they want to do anyway, especially if their intentions is to do something they shouldn't be doing anyway. So anyway, let's get past that. That's not what we're going to focus on. The whole point is this. Okay, if you take her over to your parents' house where your mom and dad is, and especially if you might have uh, brothers and sisters that's there too, it keeps you from being fake. So you know how it is. I'm not saying that people purposely go on dates and they are fake. I'm just saying on a date that you go on, you are, you know, trying to show some chivalry. You know, you're opening doors and pushing the chair up for her, doing things like that. But if you go over 
she comes over to your house and you know you're doing these things or you're acting out of character your family members are call you on it yes they will they either gonna start snickering to each other or texting each other on their phone saying look how this dude acting look how he acting look he acting all bougie he doesn't even act like that and vice versa if you over at her house and you're around her parents and her you know brothers or sisters whatever you may have and while you're sitting down and she's oh would you like some more water or would you like another roll you know family then will call you on it like you don't even be asking your dad if he wants some more water you don't ask me if I want some more water you never ask me if I want another roll or something else to drink you know so they'll call you on so it kind of give you an, it kind of gives you a chance to see how this person character really is versus how they would have been if you guys were off on your date on your own you know so I can be you know, you, and then again, it keeps you from having to lie. I can sit there and puff up this whole thing about who I am, what I do, and all this and that. But if I didn't do any of those things, family will call you on it, you know? Right. No, I understand that. I understand. Okay. The question was, some people are really not fake. And they really are like they are. I get that. That's not what I'm talking about, which I understand that. You're right. But what I'm simply saying is that in the world that we live in today... You got so many Facebook profiles, you got YouTube, you got, I don't know, Instagram, all kind of different websites that people are taking pictures of themselves on and they make themselves look so like they got it all together. And even in the profile, they'll tell, they, they can put in there how much money they make and all this and that. But if you go around that person's family, the truth is going to come out. You know, because the thing is, you know, a picture, you can take a picture of yourself in your backyard by some palm, by like a palm tree or something and tell people that you live in a lavish life you know, near the islands, and that can just be a picture here in the city, in your backyard, that you bought a little palm tree from the store, but you took a picture by, so the image can make it seem like you actually are in a tropical environment, see what I'm saying, just all these different elements that come into play, so yeah, I think that, you know, the first day should be, or with the parents' house, and another benefit to that too is, I'm just saying, young men, young women, this thing is to me, I take it seriously, Okay, the dating and all that. It's, oh yeah, fun comes with it, but it shouldn't be pushed out there like the reason why you want a boyfriend or girlfriend or anything like that because it's it's fun. You know, not saying that it's not fun. It is fun, but I'm saying the fun should be what comes with it afterwards. So in the beginning, like what I would teach my sons is that if they go on a date with a girl, either she's gonna come over to our house for dinner, or he's gonna go over to her house for dinner to meet her parents because I want my sons and to be able to talk to the parents and. So the parents can, I want, the, I want the parents to grill my sons. I want them to, you know, hey, so tell me a little bit about yourself, you know. What are you planning on doing? Do you plan on going to college? Da, 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 da. I mean, all these things can be taken care of at the beginning instead of having to find out later on after you didn't went past that. And what I mean by that, you like the person. Y'all went on your own dates. Y'all really like each other. Y'all digging each other. All of a sudden, y'all dating. Y'all are item now. And then here it is. You find out that he really ain't trying to do nothing with his life. Well, that could have all been prevented had you had brought him over to your parents' house and let your mom and your dad, not say, not necessarily saying grill him, but just ask him questions. There's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, I think that's a really good way to kind of get a lot of things just out of the way. You get to find out about a person real fast if you took them over to your parents' house or if they came over to my parents' house. So, yeah, and then here's another thing. I had a friend uh, about a year ago. He took my advice on this. I told him to do the same thing. Go over to her parents' house. He went over to her parents' house, and he's a nice guy, a really cool guy. And I told him the same thing. I said, it might feel weird. I said, but just, it's going to show a lot of maturity about you. You know, just when everything is kind of calming down, you can just say, you know, the mother, you can just say, you know, Mrs. Such and Such, you mind if I talk to you for a little bit and just go out? She can walk with you. I know it sounds crazy, but she can, wherever y'all want to go, you can sit, take, take, go outside or in a different room and just ask this lady and tell her, you know, hey, I really do like your daughter, da 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 but I'm serious about this. Can you tell me something that might be like, I mean, like a red flag? And depending on how the parent is, some parents will flat out just tell you, honey, she is, you seem like you're a nice guy or you seem like you're a nice girl, and they're going to just break your heart. They just had a boyfriend last week, or they just had a such and such. She has seven boyfriends that she broke up with. Da, 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 da. So all these things be taken care of before you actually pour your emotions and feelings into this person. I know. Yes. So, so that's what I'm saying. It all it, that all those things can be taken care of if you do it from the beginning. And I don't care if you're in your 30s and your 40s. It's the same thing. I mean, I don't care. Go. 
pull the mama off to the side and just say, you know, your daughter, I really like her. Hey, can you tell me something? And vice versa, the son, you know, can act grill. The son can do the same thing too. Yeah. So like, what, uh, what would I do if my son brought a girl over? See, yeah. No, see, it, it can be a two, in my case, because it's me, it can be a two-way thing. She can ask me all the questions she want to ask me. She can pull my wife off to the side. She can pull me off to the side and ask me things about my son. And I'll just let her tell him the truth. Because, you know, you're dealing with a person's heart. You know, you're dealing with emotions and all this stuff like that. So, yeah. So, in person, oh, okay, for the viewing audience, the question is, what would I do? Or what would I say if my son brought a girl over to the uh, house for a date? Okay, so, what I would do. I would ask her all kind of questions. I ask her, you know, how she's doing in school. I ask her, what is she planning on doing? I'm plan you know, does she plan on going to college? You know, what are her goals? What does she inspire to do? What's something that you like? What's something that you love? What's something that you like doing that you would do it for free because you love doing it so much? And whatever that is, can that possibly be turned into a job? Because if it can be, then that's a one thing you can probably go look for in college. Yes. I mean, that's just me. I'll, yeah, I'm different. I'll, okay, I'll say something like also. Uh, so if I was to talk to your mom or your dad, what would they tell me about you that might cause me to kind of be like, uh, yeah. Because I would, me, I per yeah, I would communicate at that young of an age. Yeah, if they're like 16, 17, I mean, if they're 18 on their own at the house, that's another thing. But yeah, I would want to talk to the parents too to let them know, hey, you know, your daughter is over here with my son. We are here. Trust me, they're definitely not going to be alone in the room or anything like that. We're all here having a nice dinner. Might be playing some family board games or anything like that. Yeah. See, because again, if the intention of them is to try to get to know each other, what better way to know each other than from the people that know the person that you're dating the best? The mother and dad know that person more than anything. You don't know them yet. That's why you, if you get in a relationship with them without meeting the parents and talking to people, I'm talking, not talking to people, talking to the parents, everyone their brothers and sisters and all that. By doing that, it keeps uh, you from having a future possible broken heart, especially if that person is not who they are if you never introduce them to the family or anything like that. Okay, so to the viewing YouTube audience, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. I know it might be a short video. If you guys know that there's any type of other angle I can hit this dating relationship thing at or marriage, leave a comment, shoot a message or anything like that and let me know. This is Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray that you guys are in good health. I pray that you are eating. I pray that you have a roof over your house. I pray that you are mentally stable. God bless you, and let's keep this thing going.